often people come to me and they say something like, Lloyd's is really cheap at this moment in time. And I'll ask them why they think that. And usually they'll quote to me the share price. Say, they'll say Lloyd's is traded as one like 40 odd pence. And um, they'll compare it to something like say NatWest, which might be trading at two pounds something. And they'll think that NatWest is significantly more expensive than Lloyd's. Um, this isn't necessarily truth. true. What you need to look at is the market capitalization. Now market cap very simply is the number of shares multiplied by the price of the share at the, at the moment in time to then give a what they call a market cap. Now the market cap is what the market currently is valuing the company at. Now I'll go through an example of this, but before we do, just a quick disclaimer. This is purely an educational video. Please always do your own research before you take a position. And yep, yeah, let's work through the example now. We have market cap, market, and let's say we have a fictional company called A, B, C, P, L, C. Now, A, B, C, P, L, C has, uh, let's say shares, shares in issue, and let's say they have 1 million shares. And the share price is, say, uh one pound twenty one pound twenty market cap therefore equals them two times together which would be 1.2 million pounds that's a very quick example of market cap so somebody could say that standard chartered is a more expensive trading at four pound 55 than lois which is trading at 43 pence now this wouldn't strictly be true if we were to look at something like market cap here we see that lloyd's banking group has a market cap of 30.81 billion pounds gbp 30 billion and standard chartered has a, a market cap of 14 billion so really lloyd's banking group is is being valued by the market at two times more than standard chartered so we can actually prove this market cap here of 30 billion GBP if we go on to the annual report for Lloyd's and we look at the equity position here their share capital here is 7084 pound million look at note number 38 in the annual accounts yeah if we go down here look at the number of shares here which is there the 2020 position and we multiply that by the share price which is 43 pence we get uh, current shares in, ex in issue times by 0 0.43 pence, uh, which is 41, why not? That there, and that there corresponds to our market cap there. So in billions, so if I divide that by 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, there we go, we get down to 30.81. I've got 7.5 here. You get the idea. In my next video, I would like to talk about something like Porter's Five Forces. Um, very, very important if you're selecting stocks to look at these environmental factors and the factors outside of the mechanics of the business. If you like the video, please remember to like and subscribe. I have other videos on my page as well. Check those out before you proceed. Uh, I have a video here on the difference between spread betting and investing. And I have a video over here teaching you how to calculate your cost of debt very, very helpful and very useful if you are planning to trade just to help sort out your balance sheet before you carry on on this journey. Take care and hopefully see you soon.